like fingerprints, all organizations are unique, but there are certain elements of the organization that should have best practices or standardizations to increase security and productivity. This is a listing of some of the best practices for Google Admin Console to enable for the organization. A best practice for Google Admin Console as it applies to the administrator roles is to make sure that you have that super admin role assigned to a service account, an account that's not in use daily by a user, something that's specifically used for super admin purposes. Also, when you come to the administrator roles, follow the least privileges rule so that you can assign sub rules to people who only need certain rights within the environment. And that way they don't jeopardize some of the security that you have enabled. Again, those can be used with service accounts as well, as opposed to a primary account holders account. Another best practice for the security of Google Admin Console, especially as it ties into the admin roles, is to make sure that you tie in multi-factor authentication into those admin roles so that when those service accounts are used, it relates to a second form of authentication to verify and enhance the security of your organization. Another best practice is at the beginning when you're setting up your organization is to structure your organizational unit or OUs to meet your needs through management and security. So it takes a little bit of time at the front to make sure you're organizing it in a smart way. There's not really a standard way to do it. The idea is to make it something that works for you in the long run, especially considering growth and change. If you're a school district, you could choose to do it by locations, which are buildings, with the users and devices underneath that, or you can use, do it by students and then the locations inside there, or you can break it out to students, staff, and faculty. The idea is to have some kind of an organizational structure in mind so that when you are managing devices and users, you can assign policies and towards the, the organizational units as needed. A final best practice to consider is setting up safe search for your organization. Now it doesn't necessarily have to be the strict form of safe search, but something that'll filter out some of those sites on searches, which are definitely not appropriate for enterprise or K-12 or schools. The idea is to enable safe search so that the replies that come back to our search query are very appropriate to our needs and not going to take us somewhere that's going to have viruses or inappropriate content. While this isn't an encompassing list of settings and policies that organizations can enable in Google Admin Console, it represents a few of the large best practices for security and management and structure for the entire Google Console workspace for your organization.